Hello, welcome to the program Health and Wellness on Oleke TV. I am Antonia Wonkolo and I'm super excited to have you join today's episode. Today, I'll be sharing tips to protect your mental health during the Christmas holiday. You know, the festive season is a time to enjoy having fun, spending quality time with loved ones, but it can also be a stressful and lonely period. During this season, it's very important to look after your mental health and your well-being. So the first thing is don't compare yourself to others. You know, there's this pressure to compare ourselves to others in today's society, be it real or imagined. You know, we see images from movies, TV, social media, and we compare our lives, our families, and our circumstances to them. This is unfair because we're not getting a full view of the other aspects of, their, of the people's lives we're not seeing. We see people wearing matching PJs, Christmas photo shoots, setting up decor, getting new hair, new dresses stocking up their houses it is not compulsory that you break the bank to have a wonderful christmas cut your clothes according to your fabric don't compare that miss a is doing this doesn't mean you miss b will do that if you can afford it by all means go all out you have a wonderful christmas but if you can't please do what you can afford and don't compare yourself to others remember that what you are comparing yourself to is not really a realistic comparison and by not comparing yourself to others you can protect yourself from holiday stress and feel more grateful for the things you have it's very important take off that pressure that pressure to impress take off that uh that need to show off take it off if you can afford it by all means do you by all means but if you can't don't choke yourself so another tip is to do something you're good at what do you love doing what activities can you lose yourself in enjoying yourself helps you beat stress and as busy as the holiday season gets it's important that you try and keep up with the activities and hobbies you enjoy all year round that you had a hobby throughout the year doesn't mean when we get to december and because of the festivities you just drop it you can turn these activities into festive uh, activities like making gifts cooking playing musical instruments dancing in your room to christmas songs and just just do things that will make you happy, what you enjoy doing to help you stay uh, mentally alert, to help you enjoy your Christmas season and you will not be overly anxious or depressed. Another thing is that it's important that you keep in touch with your friends and family. You know, Christmas is the perfect time to reach out to your loved ones that you've not spent much time with in the past year. Work maybe have been hiding you. It's okay for you to ask how they've been, whether they have plans for the holidays, if you would want to travel, you travel. If you can't afford traveling, you sit in your house and you video call them or you call them on phone. Caring for others is very important. Of, it's a very important part of keeping up with relationships with people close to you. And it can also bring you closer together and make you feel good. We'll go on a quick break now. The conversation continues when we get back. Follow us on our social media handles at Obeleke TV. Visit our website at www.obeleke.tv for a thrilling journey. Obeleke TV, rising star at the fairground. Welcome back. If you just joined us, this is the program Health and Wellness on Oleke TV. And I'm sharing tips to protect your mental health this Christmas. Another tip is to ask for help. You know, there are a lot of activities happening this Christmas. And sometimes we tend to make ourselves feel like we are superhumans. No one, nobody's superman or superwoman. You're not a superhuman. So when when things start getting overwhelming, and especially when you feel things are going wrong, it's okay to ask for help. If things are getting too much for you in the next few weeks and you feel like you cannot even cope, ask for help. Ask your friends, ask your family members, can you help me do this? You don't have to carry the whole burden on your on your shoulders and then burn out or break down because it's not you're not you're not winning on any side you're you're breaking down and that goal your that um uh, activity you're trying to do you're still not enjoying it so it's okay to ask for help so you'd be you'll be sane and also enjoy all the things you've been planning to have a beautiful christmas now christmas is a time where 
we overindulge. But what we eat is good for us to monitor what we eat and how we drink. So eat sensibly and drink sensibly this Christmas. What we eat impacts how we feel. For example, too much sugar can have a noticeable effect in your mental health and well-being, both in short term and long term. And Christmas will not be Christmas without a little overindulgence. Yes, we would have a plate filled with food, lots of drinks and things to uh, eat to your heart's content. But it's actually okay for you to balance this out during the festive period. Everything should be in moderation. And some people drink to deal with fear or loneliness. But the fear and loneliness, that, that effect is temporary. So when you drink to escape loneliness, when you drink to escape fear, once the, uh, the alcohol or the drink in your system has waned out, the loneliness is still there. It doesn't solve the problem. It doesn't make you, it, it's only, the effect is only temporary. So it's actually okay for you to do these things with moderation. And another thing is you've been eating healthy all year round. Why do you want to, um, why do you want to make yourself unhealthy or, or spoil the skill? Why do you want to now become overweight or something because you want to binge it? So eat in moderation so that you don't, on January 1st, you don't start hitting the gym. Your exercise is good, but it don't start, your, your health doesn't decline. Yes. And it's also great to catch up with your friends or colleagues. You might want to hang out and spend time over drinks, but know your limits. Know your limits so that you can maintain your personal well-being. During this holiday season, kindly take a break. Take a break from work. Take a break from your day-to-day -day routine. Just sit back, relax, and gain some perspective to reflect on the year. You've done a lot of things from January to December. And when, whether you're spending time away from home or you're having a staycation, re-energize. Give yourself a change of scene or pace. It's good for you. And if you cannot, um, if you cannot go out, if you cannot go for a staycation or a vacation, you can rearrange your house, reorganize your house, make sure everywhere is squeaky clean, and just sit down alone, reflect, have this deep connection with yourself. And you're able to uh, gain clarity, map out clearly how you want this Christmas season to be for you. It's not every time we have loud activities or have uh, parties and everything. This Christmas, this um, holiday season, Take out time to practice mindfulness. Take out time to practice mindfulness so you can enjoy every moment as they pass by. And you know, practicing mindfulness is, is a great way to unwind. It's a great way to relax. Now, here's a bonus tip. During this holiday season, keep active. Doing exercise releases chemicals into your body that can make you feel good. And regular exercise can boost your self-esteem and help you concentrate, sleep, and feel better. Now, exercise also keeps your brain and other vital organs healthy. So use that Christmas spirit for your physical well-being as well. Not just your mental health. Since we're trying to improve our mental health, your body also ought to be in shape because when you're sick, you'll be sad and that's affecting your mental health. Thank you for joining us in today's episode. Kindly follow us on all our social media platforms at Oweleke TV. Our website is www.oweleke.tv. My name is Anthony Awokolo. Don't forget to join us next time where we tackle another important health topic. See you in the next episode.